friends, I have wonderful news. The Dorkasm podcast is on, and I figured I could listen with all my friends. Why not? Hello? Friends? Arr. So it does not get... Wow, wow. Uh, oh my god. It does not get funnier <laughs> the second time, I'll tell you that. Um... <laughs> It doesn't. That's just, uh, we need to get better intros. Do you want, you want, you want me to play the Conan one again real quick? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Better okay. Intros. My thoughts. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it, I thought it was a, a bigger improvement than last week. Definitely. So there's something nice. I'd rather just hear I, Rob talk, honestly, at that point. <laughs> well, all right then. Uh, let's see, episode thirty-six B of the Big uh, Dorkasm Podcast. We won't mention what happened to A. Yep. <laughs> a. So uh, yeah, so let's see. You heard Justin, shockingly, oh. I know. and uh, I'm pretty sure Kyle was speaking. Oh yeah, hello, he wanted hello, to talk hello, us. and uh, um, uh, Crispy, Crispy was the other dude. Hello. And uh, this was the point previously where I made a winter is coming joke because hell froze over because there's a goddamn motherfucking Canadian on the show. I don't really know how we were able to book Celine Dion. That was actually somewhat <laughs> impressive. You're so, welcome. Um, she was on the side of the road gnawing yeah. on <laughs> like a rodent on <laughs> just on some burger wrapper, actually. So, yeah, it was... Um, Interesting. Her, her love may go on, but her uh, her career didn't. Her, her, her <laughs> Actually, I think she's in whatever. Vegas, isn't she? She's got a Vegas show now. I think Britney Spears has one. I know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I was in Vegas, Vegas, yeah, when I was in Vegas, she was. I think at Caesars is where she was performing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. you know. We have a guest. <laughs> yeah, Slain. Slain, why don't you go ahead and say hi? Okay, all right, so that's... <laughs> um, we apologize, we're cleaning shoes over here. Oh. <laughs> it's amusing and frustrating all at the same time. Uh, why? Okay, hey Harry, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, Raw514? Well, hi there, hater, hoder, I'm a Canadian, eh? What's all that about? I know Rob's not happy about that, but, you know, Rob can eat it. And I have my nice little YouTube channel where I do free giveaways and I post up random videos. Aren't you supposed to be polite? No. I, 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 <laughs> not I've to spent you. too much time in the States lately, you know. So uh, that kind of, uh, that, 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 that shines away the Canadian politeness. <laughs> it's Rob ruining the Canadians. Yeah, I, went, I was in Florida. I was like an hour away from Rob and just being that close. That vicinity. You were probably hard the whole time. Did, did like you getting, feel disturbed? Close to, it's like getting closer to Mordor. The evil just kind of rubs off on you. I say, did Rob feel the disturbance in the force? Like he was just like, oh, I just got shivers for some reason. Oh yeah, I'm, you know why? It doesn't even work that way. There's so many tourists in the vicinity, uh, and uh, yeah, ninety percent of them are Brazilians, from what I can tell. <laughs> Goddamn Brazilians! They come up and they buy all the. All the electronics. From Best Buy. <laughs> All the electronics, and then they just have these huge crowds that stand around theme parks and block the entryway for everybody, and they do little stupid soccer chants, and, and uh, they're just obnoxious and terrible, terrible people. But the women are fucking hot. Yeah, so. I, I can confirm this. Based on my last trip to Disney World, it was pretty yeah. bad. It was – especially the lines to the bathroom. Oh, my gosh. Like – they would just bang on the doors when my wife was in there with my with my daughter. <laughs> like they would just get in and all of a sudden bang, bang, bang. Be terrible. Yeah. Well, but not to uh give into uh stereotypes of any kind. Um so Harry has a YouTube channel. <laughs> so Harry has a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. All right, Harry, what do you do on your website your YouTube channel, Raw Five One Four? I don't know. I just post videos of me doing stupid things. Well, what, what, uh, games. What, what games are you playing right now? I know, but oh god! 
not what games you play. That is not a game. <laughs> I'm playing Slap it's the Monkey. So not a game. <laughs> okay, wait. How about now? Okay. What games are you playing? <laughs> talking. <laughs> so I'm mostly playing. <laughs> oh my god. I'm mostly playing Dying Light, a little bit of Mortal Kombat. And on the rare occasion, Grand Theft Auto Online, when I get bugged enough to do it. Um, but yeah, my channel actually really just started out as a channel for my crew uh, on Grand Theft Auto Online to just post our the stupid things we did, and uh, it got very addicting. So yeah, it looks like you know, it's evolved. You you edit your videos, so it's mostly like clips and of the best of kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. not like a uh, full let's play of you know half hour I long. I don't do, do let's plays. I mean. Uh, I figure if I post a video that's about one or two minutes long, more people will watch it than I'm like, oh, 15 minutes of this garbage, whatever. What do you, uh, are you, are there any projects you're looking forward to doing this upcoming year? Like any uh, games you're just really waiting for that you want to post some content from? Oh, Batman Arkham Knight for sure. That I've already got like, you know, whatever ultimate collector's edition pre-ordered. <laughs> you know, I was just like, what's the most expensive version you have of this game? I will get it. See, I kind of think the statue version looks better than the Batmobile version. There's a statue version? Yeah, there's a $100 version where it's like this epic Batman statue. I had to order it off of uh, Amazon because GameStop was sold out. And uh, that's the like $100 version. Then the 150 or 200 or whatever version is one with like a uh, makeshift looking Batmobile statue. It just didn't look as cool to me. I'm not even sure that's available here north of the wall. But I'd have to figure oh, that's that right. out. right. You guys have uh, alternate ones sometimes. Yeah. It's way too much to pay for a game. I know you're getting all this other stuff, but that's just getting out of hand. Well, I mean, I, I might be giving away a copy of Batman Arkham Knight, and it's not going to be no – it's going to be the vanilla version of the game. I, <laughs> I would hope so. Otherwise, <laughs> hey, money bags. I know. Hey, you're disqualified. Only one win per six-month period. Yeah, basically. And that's the way to get subscribers, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's worked out. I mean, I went from no subscribers to about sixty in about a month. So that's Son not too bad. Of a bitch, you're telling us <laughs> free stuff's the best. Hashtag. It is. That's good. really what it is, too. I mean, if you check any types of YouTube YouTube channels, it's all about the giveaways to get the people in, and then you know it spreads from there. Well, you, that's, that's the that's hope. The only tra trap you. Yeah. The, the only problem, though, is like a lot of times they come and then they go. So right. it's hard. It's hard right. to keep. You gotta Although, get, find a way to keep to them in. There, there's a lot of individuals that will subscribe to something and then they they won't just unsubscribe. But it's a matter of getting them to come back. I mean, technically, yeah. you're getting a lot of subscribers that just won't <laughs> unsubscribe. I mean, yeah. I've done it. Yeah. I'm That's okay with thing. that. You, you don't want. It's like you see. I sometimes I see people and they have like five thousand subscribers and they put up a video and it has like five views. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those people never come back to see it. So, but yeah, no, that's awesome though that you've got uh, so many subscribers, so so little time. What uh, what what's your favorite game currently? Dying Light for sure. Dying Light. Uh, I mostly I like to play that in the middle of the night. Turn off the lights. I have my little turtle beach headset, and it's a creepy experience. So I I really uh, I, I think it's a really um underrated game this year. How many how many pairs of pants do you go through a night? <laughs> uh, I don't wear pants, so oh, and that's, what I <laughs> that's do a big time. mess on the floor. <laughs> See, that's, that's a shame too because um, you Dying Light got so tarp. much attention before it was coming out. I mean, it was made by the people who originally made Dead Island. I think we touched on yeah. this on the last podcast. Mm -hmm. And um, while Dying or Dead Island Two is being made by Jaeger Games, who made Spec Ops: The Line, which is just one of my favorite games ever, so high hopes for that. Dying Light just got so much positive um, press while it was in development. And it yeah. looked amazing. Uh, the one thing I would ask you is, does it get repetitive? I mean, it does look like one of those games where you're just walking through the street nonstop. Zombies are around you. Does that ever get repetitive? Or have they made it where it's it entertaining could, to mean, go through them? <clears throat> There's enough differences throughout the experience where the repetitive, like certain things do repeat themselves, obviously, like getting loot, searching bodies. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's really the dynamic of the fact that once, once it's nighttime, it really amps up the intensity of the game, um, you know, because they have all, all, all the volatiles that come out, these really crazy zombies, and uh, it's also a really good game to play with friends. Like, I mostly play with Dre, who I'm sure you guys know, uh, and me and him like to play this game a lot, and it's a million times more fun with friends. Uh, you know, Is it the type of game? Oh, go ahead. 
Well, you know, because we'll be a, we'll be dicks to each other. Because when it's nighttime, you got to even be more quiet. So I'll pull out my assault rifle and just fire off a few rounds, get some attention. You know, especially if I'm streaming, I want to entertain my viewers. So I'll do the stupid things that need to be done. And then so scream like my girl. viewers, but lose the friends you're playing with. Got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta Is have it the priorities. type of game where you can level up or get stronger against the zombies or just earn better weapons, or is absolutely. it pretty much just consistent through the game? No, it's absolutely a game where you level up. <clears throat> it has uh, There's three basic trees, your agility, your strength, and your survival skills. Um, I know I just maxed out my survival skills, so now I don't get tired when I'm fighting zombies. Uh, you know, because before, if you're swinging around a weapon, you'll eventually run out of breath. You're going to get tired. You're going to get overwhelmed. I really like that aspect of the game just because it feels more it, it, it adds the pressure, you know, if you're if you're stuck in a, between a horde and you really gotta get out of there. And then, you know, I know um, there's like a crafting system and it's open world there is. but there is a storyline, linear storyline too. So it, it's, it plays a lot, looks like a plays a lot probably like an Assassin's Creed game where you can go out and explore but you have a storyline to help move you down the correct path as well. Honestly, uh, the best comparison I could make is it's a it's a mix between Far Cry and a little bit of Fallout. A little bit of Fallout? Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Mostly Far Cry. So if you really like Far Cry, you'd like Dying Light. Nice. So what's, all. So what's your uh, favorite game of all time? If you had My favorite one. game of all time? Yeah, like, if you just think back and, like, which one just, you know, you're like, that was a good game. That's my favorite. 1998, when I lived in Bristol, England, Zelda... Awkward, you know, time. It's a good one. I got that. Yeah, day one, and that game, oh, it lit my world up. It was amazing, and it's still amazing in my books. It could never get old. That'd be nice if so, you mastered that. So you're an Ocarina of Time over Majora's Mask person? Yes. I mean, I love Majora's Mask, don't get me wrong, but, you know, Ocarina of Time was the first, like, 3D uh, Zelda game, I believe. It was just a yep. brand new experience, you know? It's like going from uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto 2 to Grand Theft Auto 3 or, you know, like that was a big leap. And for Ocarina of Time, that was a big leap for the Zelda series, I think. So how long have you played video games for? Was it, did you start Since around? I was, was like four years old, my grandma bought me uh, a Nintendo entertainment so system. original NES. Nice. Yep. So I go back cool. ways to the day before... Uh, for online, you know, like these kids today, I feel like an old man. So, oh, game. dude, online! I was in college before online started. I mean, it was amazing. We still had the <laughs> PS2 and the original Xbox, and you know, they were still working out the kinks for Xbox Live and PlayStation Online. You had like two games for the PlayStation 2 that you could play online. So calm. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, one? one was a racing game, I think. Maybe it was a Gran Turismo, but I know SoCom for sure because I did play that online. What was it? I remember on, what, Xbox? Or Ghost Recon. That was a good one. So how would you say, like, a gaming has affected your life? It seems like you've, you've pretty much been a gamer all your life then since you started with 4. Yeah, I would say it's actually made me smarter. I used to play a lot. I still do. I play a lot of RPGs. I had to do a lot of reading that I otherwise probably wouldn't have been doing on my own free time outside of school. Certainly, it's just a, it's a nice, it's a nice little escape, you know. It's like a, it's like a mini vacation, really. Delve, delve yourself into certain worlds. Like if you're, uh, if you're playing a Fallout, for example, which I'm also really excited for. Fallout Four coming. I've been waiting for that announcement forever. Um, you know, it's just, I, some people spend their time, spend their their free time watching TV. Or like reality TV, me, I, I have to. It's, it's video games. There's nothing better than that, in my opinion. Fair enough. Fair enough. Awesome. So, uh, as a as a guest on the Dorkism podcast, you we always we have to validate your dorkiness, of course. So, we'll go ahead and ask a, uh, you a, a question to to do so. Uh, Who is your favorite comic book superhero? And we will confer. That's a tough one. I could give out an obvious answer, but I'm not. Because my actual real answer... And... <laughs> it's Wolverine, isn't it? <sighs> or Deadpool. 
or Deadpool. <laughs> if he's it smart, is, it is it is it is Wolverine. Everyone's oh, a Wolverine. Yeah. Yep. Or dead. No, well, no, he's Canadian. I'm Canadian. <laughs> That's true. You have a val. You have do have a valid yeah point there with the. He is Canadian. Exactly. They even they even made Wolverine to appeal to Canadian fans, as I'm sure you guys are aware of. Uh, and it was pro- it was it was between a Wolverine and a honey badger. So. <laughs> <laughs> Both a honey badger and Wolverine don't give a shit. So. They don't give a shit. No. Uh, nope. So awesome. So okay. what's your what's your non obvious answer, Harpo? My non obvious answer is uh, Shazam. That's a good. But one. you weren't expecting that. How do you feel about the fact that we have to revert to him as Shazam now? I don't mind. You don't mind. It's not really for me. That's not. Uh, it'd be different if like they changed Batman's name. You know, like all of a sudden. Uh, we have He's to call bad him guy. Wingman or something. He's bad guy. <laughs> wingman. Wingman. Man. Yeah. Have you ever guys seen that? That's man a completely man different hero. Wingman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's always looking to get his friends laid. Uh, World's greatest superhero. <laughs> woohoo! Man's best friend, literally. Um, cool. So what? Uh, and then we'll move on to some movie stuff here. What? Uh. This summer, or I guess just this year in general, what movie are you looking forward to the most, do you think? Or have you Batman, already seen actually. it? Well, no, it was Avengers 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm movie. definitely, I'm more, I'm more looking forward to Ant-Man uh, just because, first of all, I never thought I'd be interested in an Ant-Man movie. Um, and second of all, it is the start of Phase 3 for Marvel, so I'm really excited to see what they do. And it's going to be nice to just see a regular, uh, you know, a regular superhero movie and what I mean by that is the fact that, you know, the Avengers, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a team movie, right? Uh, so it's going to be good to see just a hero versus his villain and see how that really affects and comes into play against the larger Marvel Cinematic Universe. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, there's uh, – they did mention – I guess there are some mentions of the other – of the MCU in general in the movie. So that's good. And we will see him – Interesting choice they're going with Scott Lang instead of Hank Pym, though. It makes you wonder where he's going to be in all this. Isn't Hank Pym? Isn't that Michael Douglas's character? Yeah. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. So he, he's, Pym, crea- he's creating the original. Suit. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 He's the original Ant Man, and I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> I don't know if this counts as spoilers or not. Maybe I shouldn't say it. You know what? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll not say it because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. No one's going to hear it anyway, Harry. You might as well say it. Oh, well, I'm pretty flash- sure they're doing flashback scenes uh, for, with the original Ant Man. Oh, that's not interesting. A big- that's not a big that's spoiler. Not really a spoiler. Yeah, that's no, a, that's not. That's that's cool. That's speculation. It's speculation. No, but I, I saw pictures from the set, and it, it was like all uh, '70s styled, out of nowhere. Hmm. So, it, you know, uh, it's a little bit more maybe speculation, or it still is really speculation. But uh, cool. Well, other, congratulations! Find out upon release date. You're. Uh... Exactly. Your, dork, your dork credentials are intact and have been uh, validated, so you, you can stay uh, on the you now. can stay on the podcast now. Yeah, well, that's good to know. <laughs> no, seriously, thank you for joining us. I figure well, we can go. I've got some. Uh oh. And, and I'm Still just there? gonna say the best thing. The best thing about Harry being on right now is Rob doesn't say any words. It's great. Just yeah, that's fantastic. Uh-huh. <laughs> that wasn't a word. <laughs> Uh huh. Are you still there, Harry? Or I heard. Nope. 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 Yeah, excited. Switch. He's gonna switch over. Yep. Here we go. Maybe. Maybe. Nope. Yeah, that was a straight cutout. There's not even any fapping. Oh, there's none. No well, you fapping. Got enough. You got enough to pretend he was on the show, right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if he had any no more fapping because, good lord, what a trooper oh. he'd be if he kept doing it. Hello, there we Hello. go. There we go. And he's back. Cool. Yeah, I had to switch headsets again. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as we found a workaround, it's all good. <laughs> yep. Uh, so I, f- work. I fig- I figured. Um, oh, he's playing Warcraft, your roommate. <laughs> so, how no. does everyone feel about C three PO being in Star Wars Battlefront? <laughs> I don't care. He's in all Star Wars stuff, so I guess yeah. 
but but Battlefront. That's fighting, boom, explosions. Well, then um, watch maybe that. he. I know. I say, wait, he maybe he just runs across the screen. You know, <laughs> just like ah, don't shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, 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 he might be just part of the story, though. He may not be. It's possible. Who knows? Although there is speculation in the movie that he'll be included, and in he's going to have a red arm. So, so gonna, they're stealing that from uh, Metal Gear Solid now. I, well, I guess. I, I don't think they care about Metal Gear Solid, to be honest. I'm pretty sure he's going to be the Winter Soldier. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. It was very limited mobility. Yeah. So I figured we got to go through some uh, TV movie games news stuff, actually. I didn't think there was going to be a lot of stuff, and then a, a, there's a lot of uh, TV news recently, actually. Um, Constantine is officially no more. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, couldn't find a home on another network, and everyone was released from the contract. So the showrunner basically announced that, yeah, it's it's done. Who knows? We may see Constantine in the Dark Justice, Justice League Dark movie. Well, but it's I think the title that Guillermo del Toro has. I think it's Dark Justice. So that sounds about right for him. Yeah. So I I don't know if he'll be included or not, or and or when Guillermo del Toro will will actually make uh, that movie. We'll, we'll, we might as well. I mean, that's like a, a Duke Nukem forever. Yeah. Best of luck to it. So yeah, that's that's a sucky thing. Um, I, what I th- uh, there's a Rob might enjoy this. I he was you're a big Tangled fan, aren't you, Rob? Uh, <laughs> I, I am. I mean, it was fine. I don't have anything against it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you liked it more than Frozen. You said, I remember, right? Well, that's because I, I like a lot of things more than Frozen. I like Kyle more than Frozen. So. <laughs> <What>? Oh, <laughs> wow, wow! That's not even close to true. Heard it here. And you must uh, really like Frozen a lot if you like it more than me. But uh, there's going to be a Tangled TV series, um, and actually, Mandy Moore and Zachary Levi will reprise roles in it. So yeah, because yeah, Mandy Moore's doing so much now. I just yeah. refer to him as Chuck. Chuck, yeah. yeah. He's got Chuck. a lot going for him. He's got the Tangled show, and then uh, he's going to be in Heroes Reborn um, on NBC. But uh, I guess the Tangled yeah. TV series takes place between the actual movie and the short The Tangled Ever After where they get married. It seems a very female-empowered series where She's trying to determine what she wants to do with her life kind of thing. So we'll see how that goes. You know, and everyone will be like, oh, Rapunzel and hands on hips. When will you ever settle down and get married? And I don't want to. And then she has a handmaiden who apparently is hard as nails. So I think she's a lesbian. I don't know. Probably comic relief. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I Yeah, I don't know. I guess they fi- figured she needed a female friend of sorts. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, my, my daughter's going to like it. I know I'm going to end up watching it, no matter what. Um, What else? American Horror Story announced their, I guess, theme this year. It's American Horror Story Hotel. So was, uh, the old. Greek show's already done? Hotel? Is that old? Yeah. No, yeah. Freak yeah. show's already done? Oh, yeah. yeah Freak show ended a while. while. Wow. I guess we just didn't talk about Hotel. They, no, they just announced that, like, that last doesn't week. really say too much. Yeah, that is true. I know, um, um, like Lady Gaga is going to be in it, and oh yay! I forgot there's somebody else. I forgot who is Kathy know. Bates coming back? I believe so. Yeah, um, and I think um, I think Angela Bassett's coming back. Yes, I, I think you're correct. I'm betting Emma Roberts is not. Oh, uh, is that the one that got cut in half last season? Uh, I, I don't know. I actually missed the last couple of episodes. I was busy doing stuff, and then I was, was like, oh, it, "I'll just catch it on on demand." And then they just like took it off the on demand. Is that the the cute nope. blonde one or the two headed? Uh, one? The the um, yeah, sure. The the one that pretended to be a psychic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because she's going to be in Scream Queens. On Fox. Yeah, yeah. So probably not. Yeah, and then Disco Lang is not doing horror, American Horror Story anymore. Which is unfortunate because she's been great in all seasons of that. So it seems like they're doing a lot of. Um, if you'd like her so much, why don't you marry her? 
Uh, is she, I don't want to. <laughs> She's too old. <laughs> well, can I respect her acting ability without wa- no, not wanting no, to bone no. her? Oh, okay. I mean, she's a legend. Come on. Actually, um, I, I did enjoy I, I enjoy her performances, but I I was kind of getting tired of her the last uh, in, in Freak Show. Oh, the the French. Yeah, I just got the whole French yeah, thing. I was I was over that pretty quick. Well, we get that the whole it's too close to French Canadian for your liking. I'm sure. That's probably it. Yeah. As Harry as Harry faps in agreement over there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> ork, 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 ork. <laughs> oh god it's amusing uh so yeah apparently uh, a lot of mo- there's more we have some more movies oh there we go uh there's some more movies come coming to television kind of thing there's an adult damien series you know based on on the omen what the hell that sounds oh, good are we being abducted why I think it, it, Harry switched over his bike again. So, uh, so yeah, the the, the uh, I think it's just called Damien now. I don't know if it actually has another title, but it's based on you know Damien for the Omen. It follows him as an adult. So that could be interesting. And then Minority Report is coming to Fox. Uh, it's a sequel to the movies. I don't know why they're doing this show. They had an awesome show called Almost Human. That yeah, probably cost just as much um, that they should have. <laughs> But just kept going. Fox is retarded. Yeah, I was like, why would you do that? Why would you make a almost exact similar kind of uh, theme, you know, show as far as like the futuristic, I don't know, Blade Runner is, you know, kind of. I don't know. It it, it makes me angry because <laughs> I really liked Almost Human. I really did. I, I did thought, too. I did too. And they and they and they screwed that up. Um. X File. I thought this was interesting. X File news. Um, they may revisit the home storyline. I don't know if you remember that one. Um, it's about the, the deformed Peacock family. It was one of the freakiest episodes ever of, yeah. of, of X Files. Yeah, like they wouldn't rerun it for a long time. It was the first episode of X Files to receive a viewer discretion is advised warning label because oh. it was that that disturbing. Was it um, just creepy to look at? Was it the tone? What was so disturbing? All of it. All of it. It's. I mean, I, I, it's. I, it's not really spoilers because we haven't seen it by now since like 1996. I guess you know. F yeah. You, yeah. But. Spit it out. <laughs> okay. So it's basically about this inbred hillbilly family. So it's the um, hills have eyes, but X Files. Sort of, but they don't. Yeah, they're. They mostly keep to themselves. Uh, they. They're. The only reason anyone knew anything is that apparently they're all the men were having sex with this like quadru or what would you call it a quadriplegic like mother who like <laughs> I mean it's just creepy she like rolls around on this little like a uh, little platform on wheels around the house it's just creepy Ew. as heck yeah but they basically at the beginning of the show they a uh, couple of boys find a dead like fetus on the ground like in the baseball Ew. field with their, yeah like the ones like digging in at home plate you know and then all of a sudden, like, a little blood bubbles up, and then they start screaming and everything. And that's how Mulder and Scully end up being there. And the the music in it as well, it's like they, they use the 50s music and then make it seem creepy and atmospheric. And, uh, yeah, it was just one of those ones that, man, it gave you nightmares. <laughs> it was pretty rough. But I thought it was pretty cool. They're going to be using uh, – uh, they're visiting that storyline. So we may see what, what happens what became of the Peacock family or where they are today. This will, this will put in perspective, Rob, is it creepier than, bl- than blink? Um, you know, it's been a creepy? long time since I've seen that episode. I, I don't remember it well enough to really compare it to anything, to be honest. At least with blink, there were lighter moments in it and funny moments and clever writing. Like this is just straight up disturbing. Yeah, this is this is just straight up disturbing. I mean, there's some funny stuff for Mulder and stuff, but really, it's uh, yeah. They have like booby traps set up in their house and everything. That seems it's eccentric. Great! Oh yeah, it's good. It's a good episode. I highly recommend watching that one if you. Want and it's called nice Home. Home. Yep, is the name of the episode, I believe. Um, what else? Oh, uh, this was pretty funny. Uh, I guess Will Ferrell and. Oh, poop. I just forgot her name. 
<laughs> Saturday Night Live. Um, Tina Farrell. No. Tina Fey. Tina Farrell. <laughs> no, not Tina Fey. Uh, um, Chris, Bridesmaids. Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig thank you. Um, they are doing a Lifetime movie called Tedly Adoption: The Birth of a Plan Gone Wrong, and it's a parody, a parody over the top Lifetime movie on Lifetime. <laughs> so I don't know how they. At first, they, they it was it was announced, and then. They said it wasn't going to happen, and now they released information about it. And there's a poster and everything. Will Ferrell's got the most, the world's most awful glued-on goatee on this poster, and apparently it's about a couple that wants to adopt this woman's baby. You know the whole planned adoption thing, and before things go terribly wrong. So, I think that's pretty interesting. I don't. I. How do you feel about like Lifetime parodying Lifetime? It's almost like I, jumping I have shark. no feelings about this at all. Really? You're like a, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'll probably watch it, so good for Lifetime for that, but I, I just don't care otherwise. I mean, you, have you ever watched Lifetime? Otherwise, that's probably a good uh, good move on their part. Uh, I don't think I... I don't know, maybe. Uh, oh, you know what? I, I have actually watched Lifetime because they, ha- I don't, they still... They do Project Runway, don't they? Mm-hmm. I know it was on Bravo, and it was on Lifetime, at least for a little while. You are asking the wrong crowd. Yeah. Well, fuck you, because that show's awesome. <laughs> you just like watching women who need to eat a sandwich. Um, Pull up your pantyhose, Rob. I actually, I told my wife I really, really want to go on there, uh, even though I will get eliminated like the first episode just so Heidi Gloom has to kiss me, but... <laughs> Does she kiss all the contestants or something? Yeah, well, yeah, it's the, the European kiss on both cheeks. Oh, sure. okay. But that's that's fine. I will. I'll I'll go for that. Do you I watch America's Got Talent? No. Why not? Heidi Klum's on it. I don't give it. I don't care. My wife started watching Project Runway, and then I was just sitting on the couch, you know, goofing off on my laptop or something while it was on, and uh, yeah, I ended up watching it because, for one thing, like. I'm amazed because all these people are designers and they make their own clothes and they dress like horribly, like, like I on occasion dress better than these people. And I'm wondering <laughs> how the hell can they design anything for anybody? And it's also kind of neat seeing the, you know, what some people can actually, I like watching people build things like that show. Junkyard Wars was really cool. That is anyway. Show. So, uh, it's, it's interesting to see what people can, can do, um, you know, in, in a very short amount of time. And uh, I don't know, whatever. That's it's why a I like fantastic f- show. And Tim Gunn is a national treasure, <laughs> just like John Benjamin, right? Oh, he's was it? Isn't Tim Gunn? He does. He does a voice in uh, Sophia, right? It's the first. Is that right? I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's on Disney Junior, doesn't your son watch Disney Junior? He, he yeah, but I don't oh. watch Disney Junior. <laughs> oh well, I was say it's the, it's the, when it's the only thing on in the house. I figured you might occasionally pay attention to it okay no no i, I make him watch he can watch uh, like youtube videos and shit when i'm sitting in there <laughs> screw you we're watching uh he's we're gonna too watch, young we're to gonna watch harry's what? we're gonna watch harry's playthrough of uh dying he's Light. too young no to no no, no why he's being that hard so. crispy oh. he's too young <laughs> to understand how he's being scarred so it really doesn't matter oh, okay so I was going to say the the reason I like Face Off is that same reason is the limited what you can do in that amount of time what they can do. Oh, is I that guess, the makeup show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how this happened. I might have talked about this before because I'm old and I forget. But yeah, my dentist um, <clears throat> has like TVs above the chairs, like flat panels, and so when I'm I had uh, like three appointments uh, last year, and somehow every time I went in, that show was on. Uh, sci-fi so I, and nothing else is on because it's the middle of the day so I was mm-hmm. watching that and for some reason my dentist she's like oh you really like this stuff I'm like sure you, you're the one that's playing it I just I'm like to- there's nothing else on it's this but yeah that show was really sweet yeah well, they got good. really big for a while they yeah. were like doing episodes that tied into like the evil dead remake they were doing ones for uh I mean they were doing tv show related ones movie related ones it was getting really big for a while oh it's the, still big. um yeah the Jim Henson Creature, creature workshop, workshop thing that was also pretty fantastic it was very good although i haven't heard anything about it coming it'll if it does come back it will be this summer because it was a summer show but i haven't heard anything about it yet 
But yeah, Face Off starts up again pretty soon. It's pretty funny. They do two seasons a year, and it seems like one starts, and like two months later, the next one starts. It is good, 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 good. Um, so actually, Justin might know about this. Actually, I don't know. Rob might even. Um, there's a new show coming to Stars. I want to say called Blunt Talk with Patrick Stewart. <laughs> yeah. And at first, I wasn't. I was. I didn't know what it was going to be about. I thought it was going to be like behind the scenes of like a American cable news show kind of thing. And he's actually the the premise is he's a British news anchor who wants to make it big in America. Cable news. And it's like a slapstick comedy back, you know, like he, there's a lot of physical comedy stuff to it. You know, he's, he's doing drugs and <laughs> doing really crazy things with, he's got like a butler, I guess. Yeah. So, and it's, it's basically his, it's basically Deputy Bullock that he plays on American Dad, but in real life oh is what God, it looks I, like to I, me. This already sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I, I had I, heard of it. I just hadn't read up on it very much. It, it sounds intriguing, though. Go watch the trailer. It is pretty hilarious. I think here. my absolute favorite thing Patrick Stewart has ever done was an episode of Family Guy where he's being the Swanson's baby girl. And they're talking about how the son who's back from the military is having a room with their infant daughter. And he's going on about all this shit he saw in the war, people's legs being blown off. This, that, and the other, and they flashed a little baby, and Patrick Stewart's like, today I saw a butterfly. <laughs> That's a good, yeah. I just it, think it's was, funny. Go ahead. I was going to say, there was a, a, a clip you can find on YouTube of Patrick Stewart on uh, Ricky Gervais's show, Extras. Oh, God, mm-hmm. that must be amazing. Which, which is fantastic. It talks about, he, he's talking about uh, a screenplay that he wrote that he wants to make, um, where he's got telekinetic powers and and uh, the various hijinks involving women, and he sees everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I knew that Patrick Stewart is funny and everything, but I never knew like how much of like a physical physical comedian that he is too. Um, well, he's so, classically yeah. trained. He is classically trained, but not you know that doesn't always make you a good comedian. You know, some you can do comedies. But to be a leading man in a comedy takes takes it's like a whole different level. So I mean, he is is he Sir Patrick Stewart by now? He's got to be probably. I don't Should know be. Uh, yeah, it's, yes, it's, he is. Cry it's, okay. not. It's, it's his Twitter thing, right? Sir Pat Stew. Sir Pat. Sir Pat Stew. Yeah, I love. Yeah, I love following his tweets too. He might be my one of favorite people of all time. He's right up there with Jim Henson. So. Everything about him is awesome. Like, I've never heard any bad stories about him being a dick or anything. Like, everyone talks about how cool he is and kind and welcoming. So, yeah. Check out Blunt Talk. I think it premieres on Stars later this year. Um, something else that was interesting, TV news, Rocket Jump. I don't know if that is. Uh, Freddie Wong on the internet is actually having hit. will have his own Hulu show. So, it'll be a his series of shorts like they do on the website, although not as much as they used to and uh, series shorts and behind the scenes stuff. So it looks like they'll have like a bigger budget. and We'll be able to do a lot of cool stuff. So I'm a big Freddie wrong, long fan. It's a lot of cool stuff. I don't know if you, do you guys ever watch video game high school at all? No, I don't think I heard no. of it. Okay. Yeah, he did that. It's really good. There was like three seasons of it. It's, it's pretty darn funny. What, it uh, what show, what uh, channel was it on? Um, you can watch it on Rocket Jump on YouTube. It is also on Netflix, I believe. Now, um, it's a uh, it's a solid. I mean, it's a solid show. They have, I want to say, at least six episodes a season. Six to six to eight episodes a season. Well, quick question I want to touch on. Sure. Pixels. <laughs> is anyone actually excited about this, or is it just better to go back and watch the Futurama episode that did it first, like years ago? It's. I would be, be if it weren't Adam I, Sandler. I, exactly. I was just about to say that if it was anybody else as the lead character, I would be excited for it. You know what I'm waiting for? Ready Player One. Fuck Pixels. Ready Player One is going to be way better. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then to be there's... fair, out of everything, I think the Pac-Man scene's hilarious. But other than that, yeah, I kind of agree with you guys. I mean, that's probably going to be the best scene of the movie, right there. <laughs> Look how big you got! Oh God, that's amazing. The fact they actually got the creator, Pac-Man. Yeah. 
I, I mean, the fact that Peter Dinklage in it is in it makes me want to see it a little more, though. So, I feel like Alan Rickman could redeem that the same way he did Galaxy Quest. Well, Galaxy Quest was good because the whole ensemble was really clicked well in it. That's true. You know, they all portrayed those those types of actors in a in a in a in a TV series like that. You know, they, well, the fact that I didn't know it was Sigourney Weaver until like a month ago is mind boggling. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, never knew it was Sigourney Weaver. That's hilarious. I guess the blonde wig threw me. Yeah, she looked pretty good in that. I was, I was, I remember oh, yeah. watching. That. I was like, "Wow, she looks really good for her age." Yeah, she seriously, was... she still does for her age. Mm-hmm. Um, That's why yeah. she's going to be leading an expendable, uh, expendable at or whatever the hell it's called. So that was a not as so subtle um, transition into movie news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought we already were talking about movies. Uh no no kind of sort of actually that I was I just zone in I, when you guys are talking oh no that's fine because I was out of TV stuff <laughs> I, there was a lot of TV stuff this week actually other than the hotel stuff American Horror Story Hotel which I guess was old I didn't know that but uh news out today I think about Sandman um Joseph no Gordon Levitt no punches yep superhero film without punching yeah. but he's not really a superhero he's like I guess you'd say a comic book. Yeah, protagonist book. and the thing yeah. is the indie movies not a hero. usually the, the indie movies usually do so much better because they're given so much more love because the character's not known you can't extort the character you have to portray it in the comic because since it's independent you have to be true with it because that's what made it popular you can't this way or well, the other you gotta stick to it closer because you gotta try to recapture the magic from the book yeah well Neil Gaiman actually told Joseph Gordon-Levitt Le- Levitt, no punching you know, basically, I mean, he doesn't need it. So, well, he never punches anyone. He no, he uses them. yeah. He has dark force. Like he's got way other. He doesn't require physical interaction. He's got like dark force manipulation, magic. It would be nice casting. if they could throw in. It would be nice if they could throw in one or two DC characters just literally as walk-ins, like they did in the comics. It'd be kind of funny. Um, I don't know. I think. Sandman can be interesting on his own. I, th- I think it's kind of it would be nice to have a nice Vertigo side to the DC that's separate. Um, I think it'll be a kind of refreshing though to have a a movie like that without the the action the quotation marks the same way. I mean, we have a lot of that coming out, so we need something a little bit different and maybe more different type of audience. It'll it'll appeal to. We'll see. Or you know who it may be a total flop. I mean, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is I, apparently a very um, apt director. Right here. At least it's not Uba Bull. <laughs> oh, yeah, who left who left uh, crazy tir- tirade messages on YouTube, basically yeah. saying, fuck all of you. Oh, so, that's no, because no, sir. people he's are just, funding he, his shitty movies. Well, he's yeah, also this, pissed off that they, they re, uh, took back those German laws that were letting him make those movies as tax write-offs. Well, that's kind of bull crap. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, hey, no. Anything just, that makes him stop making stop. those movies, I'm okay with. Mm-hmm. Seriously, so good with that. His last three Kickstarters failed, I believe. Ah, fantastic. Movies. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah, so that's why he was like, he's done doing that. And now he basically was like, I'm not going to do it anymore. And it's all your fault. And F you guys. And I would love to just put a picture of He gets Nelson really salty. Simpsons. Laughing, ha ha! I'm I'm sure that's been done. Yeah. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah, my feelings. Um. Yeah, but as far as movie news goes, it's it's been um pretty lackluster. Nothing terribly exciting. Um, this weekend is Jurassic World. There's no uh, uh. no reviews or anything yet. So I'm curious. It's definitely a much more. It's supposed to be a little more serious tone, and the I guess the science is more solid. Like I know the Indominus Rex thing sounds ridiculous, but apparently it is based on the fact you can do that in science. Obviously, gene splicing and all that. So yeah, I don't know yeah, if they get more into it. it. You're not going to watch it. Well, what's funny is they actually did that. In the, they did that in the Telltale game. Um, the main plot turned out to be that there was a genetically engineered. Uh, dinosaur on the loose causing dismay so 
and and that was actually a really good story. And it also had the uh, giant fish one that they show. There was a chase scene with the giant fish dinosaur that they show leaping out of the uh, fish tank all uh, – What's his name? Uh, SeaWorld style, whatever the killer whale is, was. Is it Plesiosaur? Shamu. No, whatever. it's not a Plesiosaur. Whatever the one jumping out Shamu style, no. they had you have a Mosas- chase scene with that Mosasaurus? in the uh, Telltale game. But it was a fantastic game, and it's cheap as dirt now if no one's picked it up. I had no idea it was even a thing. Yeah, it was really good, and it's uh, the one complaint was it was more on the rail than the current ones. So it, w- they weren't quite at their, their peak yet, but it was better than Back to the Future from what I heard. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a really well-done story. The characters are likable. I, they, they did a really great job. Huh. And and it takes place right after the first movie. So none of that Lost World bullshit. Uh, Lost World gets a bad rap, but man, it's a good movie. The third one was okay because of the T-Rex. No. <laughs> How dare you? How <laughs> dare you? You can't say Lost World is crap and then bring up three and say, oh, it was all good. It was oh, okay. It was well, a it's, mess. Like, it's, like the, it's like the first mess. person shooter scene in Doom. That's good. The T-Rex walking around in New York or wherever they were, that was cool. Oh, in Lost World? No, in the third one. No, him walking around is the second one in Lost World. Oh, okay. Nobody cares. So maybe Lost World didn't. Yeah, see what Justin said. Anyway, I said a lot of people. That's the problem. As soon as the T Rex comes to you know to across you know across the sea and then gets on the on the rampage, that's when people were like, really? And then it becomes like a monster movie. And yeah, that's or you could be funny. like me and not have watched any of those movies and still feel good about yourself. You've never First seen Jurassic damn Park. Good, Justin. No, nope, I have not. What? You're you're just I, doing this to gloat at this point. You're like that asshole who's like sixty years old who's like, I've never watched Star Wars. I, I haven't. I've had no interest in those movies. So I've never watched them. Oh my gosh! You have to watch at least watch Jurassic Park. No, yeah, I at don't. least the first one, man. Yeah, it's a good I really movie. Really don't. I, there are people that are so gung ho about dinosaur movies. I don't fucking get it personally. But that's the but thing. I, dinosaur movies suck, but Jurassic Park is a well told, well written, well crafted movie. It's a dinosaur movie, Kyle. Yes, it's a movie with dinosaurs. It's not like these are parallel points that can't be both. They can be a dinosaur movie and be a good movie. Fair, fair enough. It's okay. I'm perfectly fine not watching them. I'm glad you guys enjoy them. (sighs) Chris, you might have to tie them down at your next, you know, secret rendezvous. That's next week. (laughs) I'm going to tie you down. I respect your opinion. No, you don't. No, I don't. Go watch the movie. What are you waiting? Yeah, for? No, it's like even the Canadians like you, asshole. I, I know what, what's going on here. There's Canadian love, nothing but Canadian love. No, he's gonna he's gonna come down and kick your ass. Uh, actually, uh, the Canadians had enough self love from all the clapping we heard earlier. But anyway, <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to explain how I got beat up by a Canadian. I don't think that would go over very well. Oh, wow. No, what well, I think Rob- I'm totally. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Guest appearance tonight by uh, Harry. This is gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you. Yeah. I needed that because that was bumming me out. Just hasn't seen <laughs> Jurassic Park and has no want to. Oh, it's such a good movie. It's so much more than dinosaurs too. I like. It, I'm glad you like it. I honestly, I just, I don't care. I really don't Justin, care. Enough. It's more than dinosaurs. It's dinosaur semen in a shaving cream can. I, no, I'm sorry. It's- what? No, it's not. <laughs> no, 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 no. First I, of all, I, they're I, embryos. I, I know, but what? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, Jeff Goldblum is, is just No, phenomenal. seriously, it's dinosaur semen in a shaving can. That really does happen. It's just funny because it's like a theme park, you know, like... You've thriller. heard, uh, Crispy, you've heard that that Australian guy who was building a replica of the Titanic is building an animatronic Jurassic Park in Australia and the country is okayed it because they know it'll bring in a uh, tourist. Okay. Yeah, there is a no, there, wealthy, are... there is a very wealthy man in Australia building a legitimate Jurassic Park animatronics, this, that, and the other, and it's going to be a tourist trap. I've already seen animatronic yeah. dinosaurs, though. They're on tour all the time. N- not bar anybody. So. <laughs> an- animatronic dinosaurs? Are you talking about the Rolling Stones? I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I'm just talking like when you used to go to like 
Impressions 5 museum or whatever. Like, they had dinosaurs, and it was like the, they had animatronic. They move a little bit and make noises. I mean, I want, I want real fucking Jurassic Park. I didn't learn anything from that movie. I totally want that theme park. <laughs> At least it's Australia. If the dinosaurs get loose, it's not like anyone's going to be, you know, lose out. Well, it, well, oh, I thought you meant like it's an island, so they they're quarantined. But I was just saying, you got pterodactyls can fly and shit. They can go. They could fly a long ways. Um, yeah. So Jurassic World, which Justin will not be seeing, apparently. I, I won't. Sorry, sorry, world. Her, her, Harry, are you going to be seeing it? Clap once for yes, and clap twice for no. And that's way too many claps. <laughs> that's way too many claps. <laughs> I, that was a yes, no, yes. So I don't know. How about that? Oh, I'm, I'm definitely going to go see that movie. Okay. <laughs> that was really... You're clapping. Your clap betray you, Harry. Uh, we did. lost they... Rob a long time ago. I think he's playing City Skylines. No, I, I put you on mute because uh, I, I figured nobody wanted to hear all about Elmo, Elmo, Elmo. It's well, Elmo, f- Elmo, flap, 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 Elmo, flap, flap, flap would be pretty hilarious, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's like dubstep Elmo. <laughs> wub, 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 wub. <laughs> wub, wub, wub. <laughs> um, okay, on, so on, uh, uh, on one more topic of gaming news, I know this is so fucking exciting. Wait, hold on. They're doing oh, what? No. Inside Out comes out next weekend. It's got really strong abuse so far. Okay, movie news done. Move on to gaming. Inside Out does look good, but um, yeah. gaming news. They're making another Mega Man collection, this time for the next-gen consoles. So now they will be releasing Mega Man 1 through 6 for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, choosing to leave out Mega Man 7 and 8, which might be a good thing from what I hear. I think it's funny you pick the like least exciting news of game to, to lead with. Everybody I mean, it's in the cool. yeah. knows about Fallout Four at this point. Yeah, no, I, I want to hear more. Always so I know more. Capcom, you know, it is cool. I actually, it has was talking been confirmed to, in Boston. Okay, I just yes. uh, I was talking to my neighbor the other day, and we were talking about like Konami and Capcom, how they really don't capitalize on all their you know their intellectual properties like Mega Man. Like there should be a Mega Man every other year, but. Well, what's funny is Mega Man was for a minute like the third most franchised character. Like it was Mario and then like one more and then Mega Man had like the most individual games. In yeah, like, like 20 top. years ago. No, like only like three or four years ago. Where are all these Mega Man games? Uh, handhelds like Mega Man um, uh, Battle Network, Mega Man. There, there, there are a couple of them. I don't keep up with them. But yeah, there's a shit ton of handheld Mega Mans. I, I know that uh, what, Nintendo's trying to make more use of their older properties and putting them on the, the stores and stuff like that. I'm sure people would appreciate an actual Star Fox game, considering we haven't had one since 64. They have a new one coming out. Really? For the Wii and, U. Mm-hmm. And oh. who knows? We could get announcements on things for E3 coming up here next week. That's exactly like what I was going to say. That's, uh, like that's, that's the news you leave That's not made by Ninja Theory. They, they did. They did good with DMC. I'm not going to complain. DMC was a fantastic game. <laughs> Metroid Other M, not so much. <laughs> uh, Devil May Cry. Okay, I would say like you have Fallout Four. Obviously, we saw the trailer. Justin already pre-ordered it. Um, no, just, um, I don't know. Well, I finally know. threatened them enough so they finally reveal it. But you uh, know. okay, I, I was like, I know Justin's going to pre-order that nonsense without knowing well, anything. That's not nonsense. It. This is good shit, man. Well, I'm hoping it's good. I'm really hoping well, it's good. Well, the I'm way I'm looking waiting. at it, Fallout 3 was a masterpiece. New Vegas was kind of okay, so this one has to be another masterpiece. Rob, you well, liked, that's it wasn't uh, you liked New Vegas better, right? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, it was New Vegas polarized. was better. It was New very Vegas, polarized. Oh. A lot of people either say 3 was better or New Vegas was better. No one's like, eh, they were both the same. Three, well, the way I look at it is Fallout 3 altogether, I found was more fun. I liked the setting of New Vegas, um, but I didn't really care much for uh, the story, per se. But, I mean, it was still fun. I enjoyed it, but I still prefer Fallout 3 as an overall package of a game. Yeah, see, it was two different companies, though. Bethesda did Fallout 3, and then... Uh, yeah, and then uh, uh, Obsidian did New Obsidian Vegas, which Vegas. is a shame, because they were supposed to get a bonus if they got 89 on Metacritic, and the game got an 88. Yeah. Well, 
if they the hadn't released it know. with so many bugs, it probably would have gotten more. Hey, 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 the internet is a better place for the guy who fixes you up at the beginning with his head turning off his body. <laughs> so I just thought, at least this one's going back with Bethesda for Evolve yeah. 4, so I'm feeling uh, pretty good I mean, it good looks about... amazing and bright. I love that German Shepherd. Awesome. I know. I can't wait to see what more they show off at E3. Um, yeah, I think with, with New Vegas, the nice thing... Fallout 3 had a great story. It was a good package, but I think the action was lacking in it. Like, I, I didn't like it, <laughs> to be honest. Anything that was ranged was, was shit. I didn't. Very, uh, very disappointed to hear that uh, Quantum Break will not be at E3, but considering the last two or three times we've heard about it, we've seen the same eight minutes of gameplay. Yeah, hopefully, by the time they show, hopefully, the next time they show up, they'll actually have something new to put on the table. Uh, I, I worry about that game. We, we, we've heard very little about it. That was announced, what, two last year, year before? Two years ago. Two years ago. Oh. Yeah, they skipped E3 and, one year already. And nothing since then. Well, nothing. the big thing is Microsoft has a lot of money tied into it because it's supposed to be the defining entertainment experience. It's supposed to be the game where, based on what happens in the game, uh, affects the TV show they're planning to put out with it. And the Which thing is this. also you've heard nothing about. That so. is true, but the thing is this. Remedy doesn't exactly have a uh, history for putting out games quickly with uh, no. Alan Wake taking, what, eight years to put out? I to know, be fair, but it, though, it, Alan Wake was a fantastic game. Oh, yeah, and they, they haven't closed the door on making another one, which gives me a little bit of hope, but not a lot. What yeah, so was, it, um, Amer- it was, was it Alan Wake American Horror? What was uh, it American Nightmare. American Nightmare was a fun game. I mean, it sucked that it was repetitive, but yeah. as a concept, it was great. And, I mean, it, it answered a lot. It did have that great sort of dark 80s horror movie feel to it, like something going on that's a little out of it, but still but, managed to be a little disturbing with Mr. Scratch. Yeah, the problem being is they, they kind of tweaked it to make it more of for that uh, downloadable game experience. Yeah. They made it more action-y than it than, yep. uh game was and you know it's it was fine for what it was but i want to go back to the the original alan wake i want them I to agree. make a sequel to that um, i agree wholeheartedly and uh, i think the honestly the dlc for the first game was fucking stellar um yeah. the first episode was a little hard i think they did that because they included it for free with some of the games but um yeah. It, it, the DLC well, that was one of my favorite examples of DLC ever because if you just got the game you had a full story it ended you were left on a good note fine mm-hmm. you get the DLC it expanded upon the story it had a beginning middle and end and it was still like just the same creepy unnerving sensation so yeah yeah so hey, maybe one of these days we'll get a sequel to that I'm not holding my breath but they've talked to them and they've said that they would love to revisit it so Oh. And they 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 know they got a fan base for it too. They do, yeah. but it's not a large fan base, and that's what kind of hurts it. You but. know, whenever someone mentions it's going to be the definitive blah blah blah, it's never the definitive anything. That's <laughs> you can't proclaim it to be definitive until the public decides it to be de- definitive. And as far as the whole, it, it's going to change the television show. That was called Defiance, and the game. <laughs> kind of went kaput, and the show is actually coming back. So, yeah, the show was good. Up. Yeah, I like the show. I mean, the game was fun, but it wasn't anything to write home about. You know, it's, it was a mediocre MMO. So, yeah. I, this could be the same kind of thing where one of the two will fail. It's really hard to do a game and a TV show and interconnect them. Anyways. Uh- uh, we'll e- see if they uh, unleash anything at E3. As far I mean, they've got quite the list of games that are already confirmed to be there. You know, there'll be some s- secrets that they'll unveil. So I'm kind of hoping we'll get to see some uh, decent stuff. Uh, yeah, but have, I'm, uh, okay. Uh, I was just kind of flipping through the list of the games here, and oh. uh, so like E3, there's no Valve coming, so they will not be announcing Half Life Three. Um, no. <laughs> big surprise, big shocker there. Uh, Although I Dark- found it funny that everybody looking at the Fallout Four video and seeing the one 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 on the vault, they said one one one. That equals three. Half Life Three confirmed. Half Life Three confirmed. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, no. Uh, the Dark Souls Three. We'll get some information about that. Should be nice. Um, XCOM Two. 
Oh, so excited. So excited. Uh, it looks like so they'll be adding instead of turn base. It looks like it'll be more. There'll be some stealth and melee combat um, added. So I guess it's like becoming kind of like a sp- Splinter Cell <laughs> kind of game. Maybe oh, who Jesus. knows? I don't know. Uh, if they make they do kind of the turn based is is okay, but you do kind of have to evolve from that. I think. But I think um, they did such a fantastic job with it because it made it more strategic. Yeah, and I think you can still do that. Um, I still think they. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I trust their judgment. We'll see. A uh, Red Dead Redemption sequel? I don't know if that is confirmed or not, but that would be I, awesome. Where are you reading this stuff? I ain't got nothing like that on my list. <laughs> okay. We should just go ahead and do Gun 2. Yeah, I didn't know what Rockstar is working on next, so. Um, um, I don't even know I'm if still they're waiting for that agent to... Dude. There. I, I don't think they're confirmed. Uh, Star yeah. Wars Battlefront? Yeah, Battlefront, they've got... the Apparently, they're supposed to announce the new Gears of War title. Yep, Metal Gear 5. Without Hideo Kojima or whatever. Well, he was part of he was part of it, and they just... He parted ways with Konami, and they scrapped his name from everything. Yeah, and that... And they killed the Silent Hills game, which makes me so irritated. God uh, damn it. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. You, we, we went on a rant on that about how Konami fails at business, because they're stupid. Yeah, that... They just want That's to make garbage. money. They want to make money on what is it, Plinko machines or whatever. That's the betting machines they make in Asia. Because um, they obviously don't care about video games, <laughs> or else they would do a way better job. And then Capcom's model is just put out six versions of the same game. I, well, at least they're doing something. Yeah, I, when but Konami puts out games as... and they don't work and they can't find them because they only send two hundred overseas. Um, but one of the ones that I am looking forward to is if they are going to show some new Uncharted 4 mm-hmm. gameplay. And well, I'm they... also excited that they're releasing the first three on the PS4 later this year. Yeah, because... they did the Nathan Drake collection. Yep. For those of us who didn't have a PS3, bingo, I'm so on that. Which is a lot of people. Yeah. Until the I end. Can, I can't wait. I can't wait to be able to play those games. Uh, I'm excited for Kingdom Hearts 2. Should be three the end of the year. Three. three. Sorry, three. Yep. Oh shoot! I was, I was because I've got some good news for you, Crispy. It's out. <laughs> <laughs> Except I don't have a PS3 to play. Two. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while since it came out. Um, yeah, Kingdom Hearts three should. Uh, they were mentioning it could be out by the end of the year. I w- would not hold my breath. It'll probably be next year. Oh, but it, we'll see. I mean, that could be one of the surprises. You know, they could come out and say, "Hey, guess what." holiday but i don't know i'm it, what i'm really hoping is that we get some uh release dates on a lot of these games because right now there's really not a whole lot of dates it's just like yeah the game's coming we yeah. just don't know when it's a smart move because they put themselves in a box and like like batman arkham or arkham knight it's like it was supposed to be last year at the end of the year and they're like well it's not going to be ready and you shouldn't push they I think they're learning you can't push out games when they're and if they're going to be a buggy mess, you know the, the public. Well, they did group. that with the original Arkham. It actually got pushed back about three months. Mm-hmm. So, but they should have pushed uh, Arkham Origins a couple more months too. Yeah, that's true. Um, but that oh. didn't give a shit. So, uh, also they'll, they'll they'll have some more information about um, Guitar Hero Live and Rock Band Four. I think it's interesting how the two have kind of um, separated. So Guitar Hero, they're like changing the perspective, so it's more like a first person uh, perspective. Um, what? Yeah, so you're not <laughs> yeah, looking at the band. Have, like, you're imagine gonna those, the crowd. those old video machines that you had in the arcades that would like respond to how you played, and it was the live person footage. It's kind of going to be like that. And then Rock Band is going to focus. It, it sounds like it's going to be slightly more like a RPG. I mean, it'll be mostly a music game, but there'll be RPG elements to it. And okay. your old, the best part is all the songs that you bought for all the old Rock Band stuff. You can use on Rock Band Four. So if you bought any DLC co- or any music or anything, you sh- you will be able to use it. And your old peripherals too. You will not have to buy new guitars or drums or anything. Pretty smart move, actually. I guess. I le- you know, from a business point of view, maybe not, but 
how many people want to go out and buy another hundred dollars worth of equipment again? Not too many. Um, Doom. Maybe we'll see more about Doom. Yep, they're they're promising more uh, footage of that. And Mass Effect Four, possibly. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. I, yeah. I really don't think that they're going to show anything yet for that. Well, they announced which it. Mass Effect Four. Oh, Mass Effect Four. Yeah. Yeah, I don't expect anything. I, I anticipate that that's going to be a next year E3 thing. It's funny. I'm, tr- you know, I'll be out out of town next week, and I'll probably be looking on my phone <laughs> at all the E3 news, seeing what's what's coming out. So. I usually don't. I usually don't go for the hype, but there's a lot of good games they're going to be covering this year. A lot okay. of stuff I'm interested in. Um, yeah, that's all I have. That for part is news. a lot of it. It's stuff that isn't going to be coming out for a long while yet. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I got plenty of games to tie me over. I, I'm, yeah, all, but I'm, all about, I'm all about the hype train right now, though. I just, I'm just not going to pre-order anything. Don't pre-order, people. Order it all. Uh, right? Have any of y'all been uh, watching the... What is it called? I want to say it's Blood... Oh, God, what is it? Bloodborne? The guy, who, the guy who did the original Castlevania Symphony of the Night has a Kickstarter... Uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night by Koji Igarashi. Yeah, I just butchered that like meat. But uh, uh, yes, I it's saw made the, by um, the people who, trailer. yep, who did the original Castlevania Symphony of the Night. They're already up to three point five million dollars, which some of the stretch goals now have included ports to the Wii U, the PlayStation port, the PSP, the uh, what's the other handheld, the. Um, is, it a, is there a Game Boy? Yeah, the DS. That's right, the 3DS. Mm-hmm. So they've uh, gotten to the point now where they can do orchestra music. They've got another character. They've uh, made the, the original design of the castle about three times bigger at this point. I mean, they've just gotten so many stretch goals, and the quality just keeps going up by the day, and they've still got three more days for funding. So it's days. just – say what? It says four more days. Four more days, excuse me. So it looks fantastic. Um, they do have the original voice of Alucard coming back for a secret character. Um, just it, it's total nostalgia hype train, but it looks like they're going to deliver on a fantastic game. Yeah, both that both Bloodstained and Ukulele, which is the spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie, like they hit their first Kickstarter goals within like four hours. It was ridiculous. So because Bloodstained's oh, technically it's a, a spiritual successor, right? Because they can't. They can't do Castlevania. Yeah, yeah I don't even know. Al- Al- I don't even know if it's. Else. I don't even know if it's spiritual successor. It may just be in the style of. I think it's well, just you, in the style of. Yeah, spiritual successor means in the style of. Like you can't use you can't use the original names and stuff. But it's like it's a game very similar, basically mm-hmm. in style and graphic graphics or whatever. At least with uh, ukulele, you know, it's just like updated graphics, but. Same physics kind of platformer kind of thing. So is this cool? Blood... All these games getting funded. I see they got the mm-hmm. Bard's Tale Four here on Kickstarter too. I'm like, yep. wow, that's a throwback. Which one? Bard's Tale Four. Hmm. That's almost funded. I mean, holy, oh yeah, it's raised a million. I mean, a lot of the old games that uh, you know people our age kind of grew up with, and now they're trying to bring them back, and there's still a lot of. Uh, support for those uh, just interesting it's funny when you see like all these uh, popular projects on Kickstarter it's like video game video game video game well that, I mean that's going to be that's really going to be the future I think of video game development I think it's going to be a lot more public influence than it was before up to just the, the huge publishers saying we want to put out another you know Fallout 4 because we know it's going to sell big at this time or whatever it's like these, see, these it's young really people different. Depends, though, man. It, it because not all of these, even if they get funded, uh, even co- follow through. I mean, there's so many horror stories out there of ones that, mm-hmm. yeah, we got this awesome game back. Us, we'll do it, and then it's just nothing. Nothing. Oh yeah, comes. you're gonna have this you know, the dark ages first, you know, where everything gets sorted out, and you know the rules, so to speak, of how it has to, you know, will need to be done will be worked out. But you know, until we hit that renaissance period of of you know kickstarters indiegogos whatever projects like these but still they've they've done pretty well there's been some that yeah that you basically just lose your kickstarter money 
Yeah, um, unfortunately, Road Redemption's kind of gone that way, the spiritual successor to Road Rage. Um, they were promising, like, they reached a stretch goal for the Wii U, for the Xbox 360, this, that, and the other. They're still fucking around with the PC version about a year and a half after they promised to deliver all the merchandise. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing you can, you know, as a consumer, oh. you can't do much when you just hand over your money. Oh. Um, the was Carmageddon was they just came out with a new Carmageddon I think that was a Kickstarter project as well although it it doesn't run very well <laughs> it's a Carmageddon game I guess apparently that's about it there's nothing spectacular about it it's fairly fun but nothing to write home about so yeah you're gonna ha- I mean you're gonna have those downfalls but I think that's gonna be the kind of gaming on demand as far as like which games people are gonna want to play I think it's gonna be a big part of future development be good. Well, that's all I had for gaming news. Uh, on the comics, um, they had announced, I mean, it's not really any big surprise, kind of, but like Secret, Secret World Wars with Marvel is going to end with like Marvel Reassembled. So they're kind of rebuilding everything for a new start for the next 50 to 75 years. That's the plan. So it's it's a re- reboot that's going to stick. It's not going to be like Infinite oh, it's, Crisis. Uh, uh, but it's not a reboot. It's not a reboot. It's, Alan it's Fine a, was very specific. It's not a reboot. Oh, okay. <laughs> not the Duma. Semantics, really. And They're, yeah, I, I'm so amused at the you know this this will lay the framework for stories for decades. Like no, no, it won't. Months maybe, but not decades. Like, what does that mean? Like, it's a new you know. I don't know. Yeah. They had, are you just are they just forgetting everything that happened before it? It doesn't sound like it. So if you're going to start new and it's going to keep going for the next several decades, I would imagine you'd have to be like, okay, fresh start, a.k.a. reboot. I don't know. I'm curious to see what they're going to do. I just hope Dan Slott keeps starting Silver Surfer. That's all I care about on the Marvel side. Um, yeah. Anyone have anything else? I do not. Any dork chasms? Sure. Oh, uh, Rob and I, we played a little uh, Brawlhalla. It's a independent yeah, game. That game's stupid. Oh, this because you, <laughs> you you liked it when you were doing well at it. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's basically that. like Super Smash Brothers, but on on Steam. So it's got its. Oh, there were just some stupid issues with uh, the the lobby where we we're all trying to join the same game, and it was just. Yeah, I'd say it's it's in beta technically, um, still, and it's it's free to play. Um, the money it's like a freemium game where the money will come from different skins and stances and taunts and stuff. So you'll you'll get all the characters and you'll be able to play immediately, which is pretty cool. Um, but they did have some issues with the lobby. Try you would Rob would hit confirm and it would create instead of confirming it would create another character like Rob two or something. Uh, yeah, it was dumb. So yeah, if I hit C to to confirm it would think i'm confirming to add another character if i click the button to confirm it thinks i'm confirming to add another character if i put my mouse cursor over the button and then hit c it worked yeah definitely a bug and they do have like <laughs> a big bug in the corner to report bugs so i mean it was it was very kind of buggy it kept like deleting over the bots and stuff too it's not very clear about how you add bots to online message matches and stuff but i hand it's pretty fluid it handles pretty well um, we played with uh, another YouTuber across the way um, in the UK, and I didn't notice any lag on his end or anything. So that was it was really cool. So shout out to Puglington, to Ben. Um, I'll get. We have a video. I have a video. I guess I have to edit, edit and get out, which is some gameplay. It's pretty fun, free to play by Xavient Games. Um, so yeah, I guess that's my dorkgasm of the week. Anyone? Anyone else? Uh, nope. Nope. Just I, I'm sure I had something I forgot. Nope. Oh, uh, I also mentioned I had um pre-order or not the pre-order. I had sent beta, but uh, the it's called Ark. I think I mentioned it before, and it's a oh, yeah. survival game with dinosaurs. And oh my gosh, you need a really good computer to run it right now. It is not optimized at all. <laughs> yeah, so I I'd actually gotten that yesterday. Oh, did you get it? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, we'll have to. I didn't remember you talking about it, but yeah, I, I picked it up because it looks kind of cool. Guess what? Guess what's in it, 
Justin, dinosaurs. Lots of dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to not uh, play it. I know. It's so it's like a survival hunting game, but with uh, with dinosaurs in it. Um, it looks if it really was zombie good. Zombie dinosaurs, then that'd be something. No zombie zombies. Nazi dinosaurs. But I did immediately log in the first time and got. I did. I was eaten by a um, a giant hawk like creature, <laughs> which was not fair. Um, and then I let's see. I was eaten by raptors, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, Mosasaurus, <laughs> uh, a shark. What are the sharks? Uh, ter- pterodons. What are they called? Uh, megalodons. Megalodons. Yeah, it would rip me in half. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, that actually, game um, will I'm sorry. Tear you in hole. Oh no. Go ahead. No, actually, yeah, I forgot. I also picked up the Lego Worlds uh, game yesterday. Yeah, that's an. It's like the Lego version of Minecraft. That's or, that is absolutely access. hilarious because that's. I've heard people complaining about that, like, oh, they're stripping off Minecraft. Like, r- really? It's not that <laughs> Minecraft is like the you know, the <laughs> not that video Legos game version was, of Legos. Um, yeah. Geez. It looks fun. I've watched some. Uh, it, yeah. You can't do a whole lot right now, other than build. Um, mm-hmm. You go around discovering stuff, and then you can you can go ahead and build it. You know, you yeah, I'm actually, and, and the building is like you can actually you can build with individual bricks, but you don't have. That was my concern because you know I put together take forever of real life Lego. Like, yeah, and that would be so tedious. So there are like some plans you can, uh, you know, pre prefabricated type of things. You've got like yeah. a gun that shoots them and it spews them it. out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like rain. So that's, that's pretty nice. It's like you're. It's like making it rain with Legos. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, that looks. It looks. It's like, well, actually. It's, it's a lot like you're jizzing Legos. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which would be pretty, pretty painful. painful. Yeah. If if you're jizzing Legos, you should probably go see a doctor. <laughs> Imagine that was probably like that kidney stone, Rob. Uh, probably. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Lego Worlds. It looks it looks fun for a couple hours right now. I, I, if, and then if you really want to build stuff, I think you can get into it. Um, I don't. They don't have multiplayer. Function no, now, support yeah, it's yet. still pretty very, very early, early access. But it's, it's like only the, like fourteen bucks. Yeah, fourteen. Yeah, it's super cheap right now. I imagine that you know once they they get everything in, the price will go up at least a bit. Yeah, Ark was. Uh, yeah, I have to play on like low settings on Arc. Right, right now, they recommend at least a G four six sixty for low, nine uh, seven uh. nine seventy for medium. Hey, that's what I've got. And then a Titan, a Titan X for high. <laughs> oh sure, wow. I've got six hundred seven hundred dollars laying around. I can go buy a Titan X. The sure. launcher is launch Arc extremely low memory. Launch Arc low memory four gigabytes or play Arc. I don't yeah. remember which memory I have. I'm just going to say play. I think you probably have eight. Who knows? I, Maybe four. I actually upgraded it, and I, I I really don't recall how much I've got. You really don't need much more than eight unless you're doing digital editing of sorts. It really, nothing else will use that extra, that memory after eight. I think I probably just uh, maxed out whatever my motherboard could take just so I don't. 64 megabytes. Yeah, that's what I did. You got a problem with that? No. Oh, good. Hey, if it, if it makes anything run slightly better, then good on you. Um, yeah, so it, it looked like crap when I played it because it was on low. I had to play it on low because I only have a 660. Oh, so. Yeah, I've got uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Thank you very much. There you go. So That'll do you. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I definitely want to play with some other pl- I played single local player on, on Arc. I don't think you're meant to do that because it's kind of rough. But then again, I don't have to worry about random assholes coming and just beating me to death either. So yeah, that's going right to be a thing. T Rex and castrating you because that that's, and, <laughs> just that and dick off. Like you know, if if that could be done, <laughs> people are going to do it. That and they want to make the most saying. ridiculous looking characters ever. They're going to make them all short with huge chests and skinny legs, you know, and giant heads. Because that's the funny thing to do, right? Make a distorted looking human being. Yeah, I shouldn't really comment because on the UFC game on the Xbox One, that's what I, I do. I just make these trolls and. Well, it's fun, you know, for a little while. Yeah, but... it's amusing. And then, you know, I was playing uh, WWE 2K15 on the Xbox One, and the graphics are ridiculously awesome. And yeah. I spent like an I don't know an over an hour doing the custom entrance just 
it, it is so cool the shit you can do with that. Like getting the pyros to go off, like synced to the characters' movements and the music and stuff. Like it, it's on like a timeline, and you've got to you know set set where you want the pyros to go off and stuff. It's really sweet. Nice. If yeah. there's anything I'd want more from Arc for the character creation, it's like they don't have any hair or anything yet. I don't know if it's because you've oh, really? just been literally dropped. Yeah, there's no hair options for males. So you just get dropped down and you're bald. And I assume maybe what happens is, you know, you've been shaved clean because you have that gemstone in your wrist. That's basically. weird. Because I could have swore I watched somebody's video and they had a guy with hair. Well, I think what happens is you might grow hair over time. I, I mean, maybe, so, but I don't think that's what happened with this dude. Yeah, no one has hair when you start right now. Well, maybe that changed nope. fairly recently. They do update it almost every other day because they oh. need to, they're optimizing it because really no yeah. one can, no yeah, one can I, I play watched, it. Yeah, I watched B O and he had like three videos up and yeah, every, every one he was like, oh, they optimize it to run a little bit better. Oh, they optimize it to run a little bit better. Slightly better. They're very much focusing on it. So, I mean, because it's, it, and the, trailers it looks so gorgeous like i want to play it the way that it looks i don't i'll have to probably buy a 970 to get even close but I, I yeah it actually if you're it inter- oh yeah this dude he made like a dude looks like mike tyson with hair anyway yeah if you're interested like watch some of these professional youtubers who've got like the insanely good computers because the graphics are just beautiful i watched um i watch play recently i did watch someone play it recently um it looks pretty f- I watched a couple of people play it actually, so just to kind of see what it's all about <laughs> and everything. But a, it's uh, it's good. On a random note, Crispy, I have a question for you. Uh, hold on. Do I need to have something queued up? I don't. I don't believe so. Oh, okay. I didn't. know. Okay. Oh, maybe you do. Yes, yes, because you don't say things. Yes, you should have something queued up. Wink, wink, hint, hint, nod, nod. Okay. Okay. If it's if it's not a Canadian chap, it's. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, if it's not a, sorry, I, I, my had to ref, I reformatted my computer. I had terrible problems. My hard drive was failing this past. That week. lead-in was a trap. Yep, and we're just gonna blame it on Harry. Wait, wait, start to, I'm ready. If it's not if a it's, Canadian ch- chap. It's a trap. <laughs>